Okay. Well, this is the traditional way, but I'm sure you guys a different way. Now I'm looking at 16 over 64. I'm gonna look at this question as 1 6 over 6 4. What we can do? Well, 6 is in common, so we can cancel that out. And I have left 1 over 4. Exactly the same as a boom, right? Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we are going to simplify the inverse tangent of 2 square root of 2 over inverse tangent of 1 over square root of 2. This right here is in fact super easy because you see that the inverse tangent, inverse tangent that can cancel. And then right here you see square root of 2 and you also see square root of 2 right here you can cancel. And of course you have just 2 over 1, therefore the answer is just nicely equal to 2. And as always, that's it. Just kidding. Right. <laughs> of course, don't do that. No, don't do that. Okay, just, just, just don't do that. Just, just don't do that. All right. So here is how we are going to do this right here. Hmm. I think I would like to just start to simplify this guy right here. Okay. Uh, I think I would do it like this. Remember, the output of an inverse trig function is an angle. So I will say let that angle to be theta, so theta equal to the inverse tangent of 1 over square root of 2, like this. And of course, this means you have tangent theta equals 1 over square root of 2. So that's good. Now, you see that this is tangent of 1 theta. Recall the double angle formula for tangent. And notice, tangent of 2 theta is based on tangent theta. So we can use this value to calculate that. And as you can see on the top, we have 2 times tangent theta, which is 1 over square root of 2, over, on the bottom, we have 1 minus tangent square theta, means that we have to do 1 over square root of 2, and then you square that. And as you can see on the top, 2 times 1 over square root of 2, you can simplify that, you end up with square root of 2. And then on the bottom, 1 over square root of 2 squared, you get 1 half. 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So this right here is 1 half. And when you have this over 1 half, it's the same as saying 2 times square root of 2, like this. And notice, 2 times square root of 2 is what we have right here inside. And this right here came from tangent of 2 theta. In another word, I can take the inverse tangent on both sides, and I get, so as you can see, on the top here, this right here is just 2 theta. And on the bottom, this right here is just our angle theta. And now we see that we can cancel the theta, and then in the end, our answer is 2, like this. But I think I like that way better. <laughs>